Not one more murder, please. Not one more woman who must die at the hands of a partner. Convicted killer Maktair Pingali has been granted day parole for six months. The Surrey man went to prison in 2011 for murdering his pregnant wife, Manjeet. The decision was announced earlier this week, according to documents from the Parole Board of Canada. Dr. Satawinder Baines feels his release may cause negative repercussions, and she feels more needs to be done to address domestic violence. The community is saddened by this day that 11 years later this man is free, while a young, bright, energetic young woman who was pregnant is dead. Right now we worry about the security of the family. The, the young man has been left, uh, let out. He's on day parole. And we are worried about the security of his child, his family. Maktair Pengali's parole comes less than a year after he was granted permission for unescorted leaves from prison to spend time with family and to work on being integrated into society. Anyone who's convicted of murder is under the supervision of the parole board for the rest of that person's life. So, the, so if that person can be brought back at any time into the criminal justice system, if that person does something wrong, even such as a hair driving or common assault. Evidence at trial showed Pengali strangled his wife to death before burning her body. Her remains were found on a beach in Delta. Manji was four months pregnant with her second child when she was murdered. It started out as uh, you know a husband claiming that he was looking for his wife who was, had been murdered and then he ended up being the murderer. So obviously it has really affected us deeply that someone can be this disingenuous about their their own family story. Domestic violence is a growing concern as another victim, 45-year-old Kamaljeet Sandhu, died at her home and was allegedly attacked by her husband, Inderjeet Sandhu, last month. But we have this cancer of violence against women, and that's something that we have to address our minds to and correct that. We need to be taught at a very early age that women need to be respected and violence against women is totally unacceptable. Dr. Baines urges victims of domestic abuse to reach out to authority and to get help. And in the South Asian community, unfortunately, we don't seek support. We don't go out and get help. And that's why the numbers show that, you know, there's more violence, more heinous crime. We have to talk to our MLAs, we have to talk to our MPs, and we have to take a stand. The activism on this part in our community is still quite new. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.